What's your main wish for your students? Um, I think we could say my main wish for my students, of course, is to grow internally. And um, I, I believe every person who comes onto the earth, no matter where they begin, no matter what level they begin, can pull themselves through to the level where they don't need to come back onto the earth to continue their development. What some people think of it as some degree of enlightenment, which some people think of as some big final step, but is really just a, um, it's just the stage where you can continue to grow without needing to come back into a body. So once the, once your being on a, on a slightly higher level grows strong enough, it's like a small child, um, it, it becomes, it, it can, it can grow on in the internal worlds without requiring a body and when it's very small it will require to come back in a body so my simple aim is to bring as many of my students through to that level as possible 100 competent people exactly. <laughs> so how do you see your future of teaching what i have have done over my um 45 year teaching um, level is, uh, as my own level raised, naturally enough, I can emphasize more, more the more internal aspects of the teaching. So I, I could only teach the level I was on. And 45 years ago, I, you know, I started 47, really 49 years ago, I began, I suppose, of the internal things. Um, so you can only teach the level you're on, although you can introduce the concepts of a level a little bit beyond what you what you know but can't really express. But as my own level raised, I was able to um, shift the, the emphasis of the training um, deeper into the system, if you like, might, you might say, um, to reflect my own understanding. And the hope was, of course, that the students, some of the students have been training 30, 35 years, that they were also... Um, their level was raising enough that they could also um, shift their training correspondingly. And the new people who were coming in uh, would usually adjust to it. So as my teaching was becoming more internal, um, it attracted new people who were more suited to that. Whereas in the beginning I attracted new people more suited to the level I was training. So um, everything takes care of itself in that way. Mm, almost like a self-selecting um, Exactly, yeah. Because I don't really advertise and try and get students in that way. I rely on um, people feeling, a, finding about what I teach and, and feeling some uh, sympathy or uh, connection with it and coming for that reason. And that way you get the students who are suited for the time. Whereas if you just advertise wildly and made a lot of false claims or over-exaggerated claims, you would bring in a big mass of people, but most of them wouldn't really suit, mm. not designed to be there, and they will just leave after a while. You know, a person's guide can, um, if, if the guide knows what's available, and when the person needs it, they will edge them towards the teaching that they need. So I would rather have these people um, flowing in, uh, in not too great in numbers than just random people who happen to like the ideas or the pictures or want to get the power that they think is available and so on. So Patrick, you talk often about each individual having a guide. Can you explain more about that to people who are not aware of that? I'm sure. So this is the system that we come here in um, that every like every spirit or soul or whatever you like to call it, every individual um, who comes into a body um, in order not to get completely crushed and lost by the um, external world and the rough nature of all of the external for forces. Um, they, are, they are accompanied by um, some individual who has already raised themselves to a certain level, raised themselves just to the level where they don't have to come back in a body. 
um, and that that person comes in with them, and we call him the the inner guide. And this has nothing to do with the spirit spirit guides of the shamans, the animal guides, and so on and so on. It's more like your guardian angel. Um, but it's not the angels of the angelic people who think they've got this angel coming in, this angel coming, and so on. It's really just somebody who's raised themselves up to the level of the third initiation, um, who's centered on the celestial or the deep mental level, um, who doesn't need to come back in the body, but certainly hasn't completed their development, and um, they accompany a person in, and they maintain the connection. So they've, they serve both as a guide and a guard. Saying guard. A guard. Yes, mm -hmm. they guard the person. Um, they because otherwise the person can get lost in, in a very complex, in the complex lower levels of the world. So the, um, the guide maintains the, the connection between the person's very highest part that we talked about. You know what the person is really, the true self, and the outer self that's now expressing itself in the world. Otherwise, um, the this connection is too tenuous and it will be um, crushed and blocked by the roughness of the external world and the person can get lost, sort of like a lost soul or something. So the guide maintains that connection and um, also guards, guards the person from the, uh, from the forces on each of the levels that are not directly helping the pe person evolve. So if a person has made decisions in their lives to harm other people or do very egregious acts, mm -hmm. is their guide still hanging in there trying to protect them? The guide's always there and um, uh, whenever you choose to do something, make an effort, the guide can, um, can guide that effort but they can't just do things to you, so you have to do something. So they're like in a, in a passive situation, um, where if you choose to go somewhere, they can maybe um, guide you to find something a little bit better in that place. Um, but they can't, they won't force you to go to another place or something, so on, because that's imposing on the free will of the person. So they have a gentle influence on people, and they're basically trying to influence people towards the things that will cause the inner growth and strengthen the connection with your deep self. Well, I think the system is built up in a great way where everybody has so much support available to them. And I just hope that people can connect with themselves and their guide because it seems like there's, we have so much opportunity for self-development the chances are all around us and we're so supported. I mean, you've been so kind to make your, you have several websites that are packed with helpful information. You know, you're doing this interview, you hold these seminars. Um, you've got many teachers that are teaching. So I feel like, well, thank you for setting the system up and that it's so available to so many people and for translating these like super, you know, esoteric or interesting and profound concepts and you make them so relatable that, that we can watch this on a video and, and dial into what you're saying. So thank you. You're welcome.